just because I like fucking you doesn't mean I actually like you. Rich guys and hot guys get cheated on like everybody else. There's nothing to be afraid of, she's just a woman. Discovery trumps disclosure. You lost your edge, she lost the traction, it's all works. Live from Philadelphia, your man, Donovan Sharp. What's up guys, it's your man Donovan Sharp, and welcome to episode number 400 of TSR Live, your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. Holy shit, I cannot fucking believe that I have done 400 of these as I bring in the rest of our audience. Episode number 400 of TSR Live with Donovan Sharp. Listen, uh, before I get started here, uh, thank you all for uh, supporting me uh, you know, throughout, you know, throughout this entire project, this, this, I, I never intended this to be what it is. This has started out as a hobby, sort of a project I was doing, just trying to spread the knowledge. Obviously this is something I want to do anyway, but to see it grow to what it is today, it's just, it really is astounding, but thank you guys all for your support. Guys like Freelance Ronan, who's followed me since literally episode one, when I was on SoundCloud. Um, Bob in Sacramento, who has contributed over $1,600 since way back in 2016. Miami J and Pine Frank, who have both followed and supported me from the beginning. Both are very good friends of mine. Also, shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson, who recognized my talent before I did. Um, I, did I never realized that I was going to be this good at this. And I remember my very first conversation with O'Shea. He said, "You're going to be better than all of us." Now that was probably a little bit of hype, you know, a little bit of um, uh, hyperbole, you know, maybe blown a little bit of smoke, maybe to boost my ego. But he recognized my talent before I did. I had no idea that I would be this good at this. Also, shout out to Obsidian, who I had numerous conversations with before I recorded episode number one, helping me out with software like. Audacity, OBS, and everything else. I actually met Obsidian in person the day before I recorded episode 10. And Obsidian was also the first podcast that I ever made an appearance on. So again, shout out to him. Thank you, to Obsidian, for his help along the way, especially in the beginning. Listen, I can't tell you guys how much I appreciate your support, man. Um, this show is not where it is today without you guys. And that's a fact. This is This is the gospel truth. Um, I don't get to episode 400 without you guys. I don't have the privilege of doing this for a living without you guys. I'm not sitting in this kick-ass studio with all this top-notch equipment without you guys. And listen, man, like, trust me when I tell you guys that it is never, ever lost on me how instrumental you guys are to the success of the show. Yeah, I make, you know, the content and all that stuff, but I'm not sitting here without you guys. That's a fact. So my sincerest of thanks to you guys for your support, and here is to, here's to another 400 episodes. It is Tuesday, January 29th, 2019. As always, we are multicasting to three YouTube channels, three Facebook pages, as well as Twitter. Let's get to it. Way back in episode 37 entitled The Downsides of Dating Nines and Tens, I discussed one of the drawbacks of dating a hot girl. And that, of course, is your homeboys are gonna try to holler. Take a listen. Your friends will hit on her. What you need to do in this particular situation, don't bring her around your friends. Guys, don't do it. It's not worth it. This idea that your girlfriend getting along with your friends is important is that it's an absolute sham. It's overrated and unnecessary. Keep your girl and your friends separate, period. One of the great many myths about relationships is that your woman has to get along with your friends. If your friends like your girlfriend, and your girlfriend likes your friends, you will have a great relationship. This is what they all tell us. That is 100% bullshit. 
your girl being friends with your friends presents a lot more risk than reward. At the end of the day, guys, there are very few reasons you should ever bring your girl around your friends and vice versa. Yes, if you have a Super Bowl party, it does not hurt to have her come over and hang out with you and your homeboys. Look sexy, bring you beers, represent you well as your woman. Hey guys, is there anything you need? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So long as she understands your boundaries when it comes to your friends, which should be trained into her if you train her properly, as well as what her role is in that regard, you should have no problems. Now, there could be a few more situations where it is semi-appropriate to have your girlfriend around your friends. But by and large, there is absolutely no reason your girl should be hanging out with you and your friends. That's, just, that, that's a fact. But why can't we hang out with your boyfriend's friends? It's totally harmless. Bitch, you know why. But because women like to play dumb, I'll just answer it plainly. You can't hang out with my friends because I don't trust your slutty ass. That's it. Guys, we can't trust our friends and we cannot trust our women in this regard. We can, however, trust men to be men and women to be women. We can trust women to branch swing and we can trust men to be thirsty enough to hit on your girl. Guys, we see and hear about this stuff all the time, man. Wife or girlfriend cheats on husband or boyfriend with his best friend. We hear it all the time. And there's none of this, it just happened. Oh, no, 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 no. If your girl cheats on you with your best friend, that's been in the works for a while. And it all starts with allowing your woman to hang out with you and your friends. So now, prob not, not, so now some of you are probably thinking, well, shit, I let my girlfriend, I let my girl hang out with me and my friends all the time and nothing seems to be off. So how do I know if something's up? Well, you have come to the right place, my friend, because if you're, if you're the idiot who has made the egregious mistake of allowing your girl to hang out with you and your boys, Uncle Donovan is going to give you 21 signs your homeboy is trying to fuck your girl. My opening rant is brought to you by Good Vibes CBD Oil. Good Vibes will not only drastically reduce your anxiety symptoms, you will also get some of the best sleep you've ever had. If you want to support the show and get your hands on the best and most effective CBD oil around, go to DonovanSharp.com and buy it through my affiliate link. Use promo code Donovan15 to get a 15% discount. Again, that's Donovan15 Donovan to get a 15% discount. No phone calls tonight, guys. Blog Talk Radio seems to be on the blink. For whatever reason, I tried to dial in. It wouldn't let me, so no phone calls tonight. Probably just a glitch. It is what it is. Blog Talk Radio can be a little bit finicky at times. Just going to roll with the punches. The show must go on. If you haven't... Oh, my bad. Follow, add, and like me on Facebook, on Facebook and Twitter. Just search for Donovan Sharp on either platform. If you want access to all of my content... Go to patreon.com forward slash Donovan Sharp. There you will find the entire archive of all complete episodes of TSR Live, both audio and video, so you can listen on the go or watch at your leisure. Now, you can watch my show Monday through Thursday afternoons at 5 Eastern, but if you want to be able to rewatch and re-listen to the episodes in their entirety, less than 17 cents a day is all it takes. Guys, be sure to subscribe to my weekly newsletter to stay in the know on all things Donovan Sharp. Being on my email list also comes in handy in the inevitable event that I get the platform here or anywhere else. Not going to blow up your inbox, guys, so don't worry about that. But if you don't want to miss anything, subscribe to the weekly TSR newsletter. If you like what you hear, if you get something out of my show, and you want to contribute, you can do that through my Streamlabs link. www dot streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp one www dot streamlabs.com forward slash Donovan Sharp and the number one shout out to Miami J with the forty dollar contribution. Miami J with the forty dollar contribution. I appreciate that. Forty for episode four hundred. All right, let's check the chat here. See who is in the house. No, no, no. That listen, Miami J. That is that is uh, that is totally cool. 
The reason why I knew that you had donated is because it also shows up here on my phone. So shout out to Miami J with the $40 contribution. I appreciate that. Rob Cruz pops the cherry. Ryan Sullivan, unfortunately, th thought he popped the cherry. He gets sloppy seconds. Molly gets to fuck her in the ass. Kyle Mitchell gets to finish on her face. CJ05 full gets to get it all on video. <laughs> Hellfighter says he can't even hold the camera. A black is in the house. Haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you in here. Shout out to you, my friend. Wizard Prang, the purveyor of episode 399 yesterday, dropped some serious knowledge. Appreciate that. Jack Bone wants to know who made this track. It is actually a combination of the guy that did this custom track for me and, oh boy, a band of a band that's a derivative of the Phoenix philosophy. I forgot what the name of the band was, but the same guy runs both bands. They put the lyrics to it. The other guy dropped the beat. They recently, they recently just did that. Miami J says uh, Venezuela Libre is Venezuela like is. Fill me in on the um, on the details of that. Red Jedi is in the house. King Nick, good to see you in here. Jack Bone says, what's the name of the opening theme? Please tell me before my connection fails. Well, Jack, if you were a patron of mine, you'd be able to go and listen to the theme song with lyrics in its entirety. Luigi Conti is in the house, says, love your show, man. And it's helped me in the beginning of my red pill journey. Appreciate that. Mike Shinnery's in the house. Good to see you in here. Kevin Ibanez, congratulating me on episode 400. Good to see you in here. Kevin is actually the first person, the first person, the first listener, the first viewer that I've met face to face. I met Kevin. I met Kevin. Oh my God. It was actually a, uh, it was about a year ago. I met Kevin. Kevin Ibanez. Drew Branch is in the house. Kyle Mitchell says, I love you too, man. Appreciate the love. Perfect Burrito says, Donovan and Redman Group basically fed me the red pill and hard truths. My blue ass didn't want to hear. Thanks, Donovan. Appreciate that. I do what I can. Mr. E1976 says, Happy 400th and many episodes ahead. Absolutely. Kyle Mitchell, co-signs. There's no reason to bring women around your friends. They have nothing in common but you. Straight up. Straight up. Suede Senator is in the house. Good to see you in here. Lion Sin says, do I have a video about your girl trying to get with your friend? Um, I don't have... Um, I don't have a video specifically um, talking about um, uh, talking about a woman talking about your girl uh, getting with your friends. Um, as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I'll do a video on how to deal with your girlfriend who tries to get with your friends. Let's do it. Just because I like fucking you doesn't mean I actually like you. Rich guys and hot guys get cheated on like everybody else. There's nothing to be afraid of, she's just a woman. Discovery trumps disclosure. You lost your edge, she lost the traction. It's how it works. Live from Philadelphia, your man, Donovan Sharp. What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to episode 400 and a half. Your daily dose of red pill truth, wisdom, and awareness. I had a question in the chat earlier. He wants to know if I did a video on how to deal with your girl if she hits on your friends, if she tries to get with your friends. So I'm going to go ahead and do a video on that now. You drop your girlfriend. If your girlfriend tries to hit on your friends, if she tries to get with your homeboy, drop her like the slut she is. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Ryan Sullivan wants to know if we're resetting. No. Whenever someone asks... A very, and, and listen, listen, like no shade on whoever asked that question. I forgot who the fuck asked the question. Shout out to Charles Caballero with the $5 contribution. I appreciate that. But 
Anytime somebody asks a question like that, well, what if your girlfriend, how do you deal with your girlfriend if she tries to get with your friend? How do you deal with a, with a girlfriend who cheats? How do you deal with a girlfriend who spent the night with her ex? What do you do? This is when I mock said question. I hit the reset button and do a show and say you dumped the hoe. That's it. Ryan Sullivan wants to know whatever happened to ETF 42. Dude, I told I don't know what happened to him. I don't know what happened to him, man. He, he disappeared. He made a brief appearance when I was on Crowdcast a while back. But it's, it's I don't know, like he, he, he just disappeared. Miami J and, um, and Pine, and Pine played a dirty trick on me. Very, very fucking dirty trick on me. These motherfuckers were at the Heroes Dinner at the 21 convention on Friday night. I'm drinking and having a good time talking to guys. And they roll up on me. They're like, Donovan, this is ETF 42. And all, and all of a sudden it was, dude, like the air was sweeter. The, 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 everything was brighter. I was like, oh my God, this is, this is the guy. This is the Holy Sage ETF 42. A split second after I started having these thoughts, they said, ah, no, no, we're just kidding. I was like, you motherfuckers. That was actually quite funny. <laughs> that, that was funny. Cause I actually thought for a split second that that was ETF 42. That was fucking crazy. That was crazy. Okay, let's get started here. 21 signs. Your homeboy is trying to fuck yo girl. Number one, after he meets your girlfriend, all of a sudden, he wants to hang out a lot more. Now, before you hung out with your homeboy at night, of course, you guys do what guys do. You go to bars, you play pool, you go to certain events. Maybe you're in a bowling league. If you guys both work, you guys are going to hang out at night. When you hang out on weekends, usually at night, afternoon, depends on what you do. But after your homeboy meets a girl, all of a sudden, he wants to hang out on Tuesday afternoon. Hey, man. Yeah, just, uh, hey, what are you up to? Uh, not much. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm on my over, dude. I'll, I'll be right there. Uh, dude, I'm with Katie. No, 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 it's cool, man. It's, it's, all, it's all good. I'll, I'll be right there. If you don't, if you happen to not be with your girlfriend when 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 he decides that he wants to all of a sudden hang out on Tuesday afternoons and Wednesday and Thursday afternoons, he's gonna ask, "Well, where's Katie? Where did she go?" Number two, he covertly disqualifies your success with her. Back in December of se December of seventeen. I wrote an article on Negro Manosphere called Three Reasons Why Most Men Are Not Your Friends. And in that article, I talked about the fact that men who are not your friends will find a way to disqualify your success with women. Ah, she wasn't that hot anyway, right? Ah, you know you got lucky. Or if, you, or if you're playing a lot of girls, come on, man, pick one already. They're sort of half kidding. I used to get this all the time in Vegas. Your homeboy will do the same with your girl. He'll take sneak tip jabs. Ah, listen, man, like, you know you're a rebound boyfriend, right? He'll ask you questions like, is she really as serious about you as you are her? Listen, I'm only asking because I'm concerned. He'll, and sometimes, sometimes he'll concern troll when he starts to get a little bit bolder. He'll ask you things like, is she, like, like do you think you could do better? You think you could treat her better? That's concern trolling. Watch out for that. Number three. He encourages you to invite her when the two of you go out. Listen, before, it was just you, him, and your crew. You guys used to hang out together. You guys, you guys did guy shit. Now, when you're like, yo, we're going to XYZ bar. We're going to meet there at 10, blah, 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 blah. Your homeboy says, yo, you should bring Katie. Or if you and your homeboys are meeting up at Hard Rock Cafe or, or um, you know, if you're going to Outback, whatever the case may be, you guys are making plans. Hey, does Katie like Outback? If your friend encourages you to invite her when you guys go out, if he does this, if he does this even one time, he is definitely trying to fuck your girl without, without a doubt. Number four, this one's pretty obvious. He tries to flirt with her. This is why you need to be around like-minded men, gentlemen. Five percenters, okay? You need to be around guys who know and understand. You, listen, you don't have to be around men who are living the red pill life. You need to be around men who are trying to live the red pill life. 
Five percenters, guys, red pill guys know that there is more than enough pussy out there not to be flirting with your homeboy's girl. And listen, I'll give you an example. At the 21 convention, everyone was everyone was extremely respectful. Devin was with me. And Devin was looking hot, dude. Dude, the, the night we went out to dinner, she's wearing this short skirt, these heels, all this other kind of stuff. Devin looked good the entire time she was there. Everyone was respectful. They addressed her respectfully. They addressed her cordially. They didn't, they didn't stand around, try to make conversation or anything like that. They were very respectful. Why? Because we're like-minded. Yes, Devin's attractive, but there are, there are many other women that are attractive. What the hell are you? And I, honestly, why does your homeboy need to hit on your girl? If there are plenty other women out there, it's because they're thirsty. Well, if you're around like-minded red pill men, red pill men are not thirsty. This is how this goes. Listen, even the even the attendees kept their distance. If they address, I don't even. As a matter of fact, I really can't remember any of the attendees saying anything to Devin. But if they did, and I wasn't around, I'm sure they addressed her with respect. Again, this is why you need to be around and friends with like-minded individuals. Men and who are at the very least red pill aware and acknowledge the fact acknowledge the fact that red pill awareness is real. They're not on the fence, they're not waiting to take the pill. They're red pill aware, they're living the red pill life and they're working on living that red pill life. Men like this don't hit on your girl. They just don't do that. If you are watching on Facebook, Twitter or one of my backup YouTube channels, Come on, come on over to my main channel to watch the rest of the show. Search for Donovan Sharp on YouTube, and the first channel you see with my face as the logo is the channel you should come and subscribe to. Again, if you are watching on Facebook, Twitter, or one of my backup YouTube channels, come to my main YouTube channel to watch the rest of this episode and find out what the last 17 signs are that your homeboy is trying to fuck your girl. Let's check the chat here again. To watch or listen to the rest of this episode, go to DonovanSharp.com. Thanks for watching.